The remains of the 13 U.S. service members who were killed in the Kabul airport attack were returned to the U.S. today from Afghanistan. 11 were Marines, one was a soldier and another was a sailor. We'll have more on the dignified transfer in a moment. But first, communities around the nation are honoring those 13 fallen service members, including a local restaurant. Our Katia Stepovic spoke with the owners and some service members. Katia, exactly how are they being honored? Well, Kim, yesterday Sid's Garage reserved 13 seats at a center table and placed a beer at each seat in memory of those who were lost. And they did that today, but they also thanked active and retired military personnel. Take a look. 13 beers and one table stand quiet and untouched, paying tribute to the men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice fighting for the United States. We want to do our part, uh, even though it's a small one to say thank you, not only to the families, but to all the local service in town, previous and or past. But owner of the popular burger joint, Will Primavera, says he wanted to take the thank you a step further and extend it to the active or retired service members by offering them a meal on the house. And to be able to give back even just a little bit um, to not only the local community that, that we live in, that we love, but um, to our country the, and the people that do so much for us, um, I think sometimes it's taken a little bit for granted is it's a no brainer. And the thank you was noted by past and present members of the military and Marine Corps. I mean, if you're a veteran or a civilian or not, it doesn't really matter to appreciate what local businesses do when stuff like this happens. When service members became aware of the kind gesture, they too wanted to go out and pay their respects. They signed up to serve. They did everything that the military could possibly ask of them and they made our country proud just thank you from the bottom of my heart like i can't i can't fully put into words how much i appreciate the sacrifice that they made to keep our freedoms past present or future the day was filled with kind thoughts and loving memories and solace for the family members of those who were lost in a job like that where every day you could end up dead it's it's more about having the convictions of why you're there. And I can confidently say that every one of those Marine sailors or soldiers who passed away had the right convictions. And they were there to do their job. They did their job, and they happened to lose their life because of it. A simple thank you to everybody who puts their life on the line to defend our nation. Because there is a lot of places that don't recognize, even if you're in. Uh, let alone retired and stuff like that. So them being able to, you know, come out here and do all this and support the veterans and people who have served and their families and stuff like that, it's just really, you know, it's nice for the heart. It shows that they're really open to the community. So get out, even if it's a thank you, even if it's a, a high five, a handshake, a nod at the head. You see someone that has been current and or active, you have no idea what it meant. All day long we've seen it and it, it just something truly organic because they appreciate it more than you know. Now the owner, owner told me not long ago that at least a couple hundred service members came to enjoy a meal. Sid's Garage will have a fundraiser next week. 100% of the proceeds will be given to the families of those service members who passed away. More information on the event can be found at KTVB.com. Yeah, our service members make us proud indeed, as the one Marine said. Katia, thank you.